did you know that most apps on your phone come loaded with hidden trackers constantly watching your every move? Yup, it's pretty creepy. But don't worry, there's a solution. With Tracker Control, you can block those trackers, reveal exactly which ones each app uses, why they're tracking you, like for analytics or ads, and even where your data is being sent. You can even block an app from accessing the internet entirely. It's pretty cool. Now the app works through a local VPN to analyze your network activity right on your device. So no external servers or routing is needed. Pretty awesome, right? Just keep in mind that if you do enable it, some apps may end up having certain features that stop working. It's rare, but it happens. But luckily you can blacklist those apps from being monitored. You know how Spotify's Wrapped gives you a yearly recap of your music habits? Imagine that, but for your phone usage. That's right, with TimeWise, it shows you your screen time and app usage stats for the entire year. You'll find out which apps you spent the most time on, how often you unlock your phone, and even how many notifications on average you get daily. It's pretty fun to compare with friends or family as well, though you might end up crying a little when you see your stats. Definitely give it a shot. Now here's a great way to stay on top of your screen time. With Unlock Master, you can add a widget to your home screen that counts how many times you've unlocked your phone during the day. Plus, within the app, it logs the exact times you've unlocked it and how long you spent on your phone after each unlock. It's a real eye-opener for tracking phone addiction. If you're looking for the best location sharing app, Paralino is your go-to. Unlike competitors like Google Maps or Life360, Paralino lets you share your real-time location with family or friends with end-to-end -end encryption. Privacy at its core. Plus, you don't even need to sign up for anything because it doesn't even require accounts to be created. You just send your unique Paralino ID to start sharing your GPS location on a live map. You can even create multiple groups to customize who sees your location, set one for your family and another for your friends or coworkers. You can add places to get automatic notifications when someone arrives or leaves at that spot. And you can adjust sharing settings to save more battery. Best of all, there's no ads, no trackers, or any invasive permissions, just pure privacy. And that's just a sneak peek. This year I'm featuring 30 apps instead of the usual 20 in this special edition of the top apps of the year, with this edition being for 2025. It's also the 10th anniversary of this yearly series, so I've decided to go big, 10 extra apps this time around, all useful, lesser known, and worth downloading. If I help you install at least one app from this entire list, all I ask in return is to drop a thumbs up and stay till the end of the video to learn about the craziest app of them all. Anyway, let's dive into the next one. Need a better browser than Chrome? FF Updater has a huge library of alternatives to Chrome, including some you won't even find on the Play Store. They have forks for Firefox-based browsers, Chromiums, or even some privacy-driven ones. My personal favorite on the list is Chromite, cause it's just like Chrome, but with an ad blocker and without any BS trackers from Google. And FF Updater makes it easy to keep this browser up to date since it's also not on the Play Store. Tired of photo editing apps asking for subscriptions or accounts just to add a filter? Film Simulator is a game changer. It offers hundreds of film stock presets to make your photos look like they belong in a movie. Completely free and open source with no ads or in-app purchases. With the new year finally upon us, it's the perfect time to tackle your resolutions and Daily You is here to help. It's a self-tracking app that lets you log daily activities with a photo, mood, and description, making it easy to reflect on your progress. Trying to lose weight or gain muscle? Snap a picture after each workout and see your transformation unfold. Want to track your mood over time? The app offers a line chart to visualize changes over time. Best of all, it's also completely free and open source. Fans of Monument Valley, rejoice! The third installment is here, and it's as mind-bending as ever. I'm sure most of you have heard about this game. It's a relaxing journey filled with twisting, turning paths, and impossible architecture. You can rotate entire buildings to unlock new routes while marveling at these satisfying animations. This time, the developers have introduced ocean landscapes, vibrant colors, you can drive around a boat, and even crazier puzzles. I won't spoil the surprises, just know that it's worth diving into. The only downside, or upside though, depending on how you look at it, is that you will need a Netflix subscription to be able to play it. Own a Galaxy device with an S Pen? 
Penstar is a must-have. This app takes your S Pen gestures to the next level, allowing you to customize them for apps that don't usually support gestures. For example, when I'm on TikTok or Instagram Reels, I can now swipe up to go to the next video. I can also swipe down to go back to the previous one, click its button to play or pause the video, and even double click it to like a video. You can also assign gestures for other apps too, making your S Pen infinitely more useful. For the OG Android fans out there, Nexus Revamped is a nostalgic blast from the past. It's a live wallpaper that recreates the classic Nexus particles moving and multiplying with every tap. It's simple, mesmerizing, and still a joy to play around with. That one definitely deserves a thumbs up. If you tend to use ADB a lot, this next app is for you. It's called Aya, and it's a desktop app that transforms all those ADB commands into a sleek UI. You can manage all your apps, sideload new ones, capture screenshots, monitor your live logs, and even access a shell prompt with ease. It's perfect for any developers or for anyone who wants to do something quickly without needing to remember what ADB command did what for things like sideloading an app or grabbing the log cat. It's just a button away. Plus, it's free and open source. If you're constantly feeling stressed or anxious, try out Bear Room. It's one of the best self-care apps I've come across to slow down your mind and make you more calm, especially after long hours of work. The app greets you with a cozy virtual room filled with objects, and you can tap on each to unwind. For example, if you tap the bear, it'll give you calm breathing exercises. The books give you guided meditation. The plants provide positive affirmations and a lot more. There are so many ways this app helps you stay relaxed. Photography enthusiasts, meet your new favorite tool, 65 by 24 film camera. As the name suggests, it lets you shoot photos in an ultra wide 65 by 24 aspect ratio reminiscent of Hasselblad or Fujifilm cameras. The app also lets you apply some film filters in real time to the viewfinder. It also lets you switch between lenses and more. It may not seem like much, but honestly, something about shooting at such a wide ratio has made the photos feel a lot more cinematic and mesmerizing to look at. Stop giving out your real email addresses to every website or store. With simple login, you can create fake email addresses that forward messages to your actual inbox. If you ever get spammed, you can just turn off those addresses. Unlike other services too, simple login lets you create up to 10 aliases for free and makes the process incredibly easy. It's perfect for protecting your inbox while staying in control of your privacy. Did you know that you can make your USB flash drives a lot more secure with this app called USB Locket? That's right, you just plug your drive into your phone, launch the app, and set up a pin. Once you're done, that flash drive will stay locked, even if you try to connect it to another device like your computer. You won't be able to use it unless you, once again, plug it into your phone, unlock it by typing in your pin, and there it goes. It's an essential tool if you store important files on your flash drives. Another useful thing you can do with your Android and a flash drive is literally write entire system images onto it and turn it into a bootable OS without needing a computer. That's right, with EdgeDroid, you can write entire system images like any Linux or Raspberry Pi onto any USB. You just download the image onto your phone from the browser. In my case, I went with Ubuntu. Then I plugged in the flash drive, jumped into EdgeDroid, tapped on Write an Image, selected the Ubuntu ISO file, hit Grant Access, and finally, Write Image. After a few minutes, the bootable flash drive is ready to go. Works like a charm. Now, if you'd actually like to run a full-fledged operating system on your Android, you can use Vectors VM to do that. Whether it's Windows, Mac OS, or Linux, you can set it up and run it on your Android device. While it's not the best experience on smaller screens, using it on a larger foldable phone or tablet is a game changer. Plus, it's a major flex to show your iPhone friends. You're running an entire OS on your phone and they can't do it. I've even made a tutorial on how to set it up, which I'll leave in the cards for those of you who are interested. This next one is for your desktop. If you're a big fan of Telegram, check out Materialgram. It's a revamped Telegram client with a gorgeous material you design. From material icons to Google Sans fonts, the UI is clean, modern, and aesthetically pleasing. 
It's essentially Telegram with a beautiful makeover. Definitely worth checking out. For those with rear devices, MMRL is a game changer for managing Magis modules. With this app, you can link some of the top repositories and explore hundreds of unique mods. Each mod comes with detailed descriptions and you can install them directly within the app. No need to jump between websites. Best of all, it's free, open source, and designed with a sleek Material U interface. I don't usually tend to recommend budget apps because a lot of them have paywalls, sketchy permissions, and are closed source, but I finally came across one that actually helps without any compromises. It's called Buckwheat, and here's how it works. You type in a budget, then you pick an end date, and the app calculates how much you can spend daily to stay on track. Perfect for trips, saving for rent, or managing monthly expenses. When you spend money, just log the amount. You can also tag it, like for food or gas, and the app will update your daily allowance. It's simple, open source, and completely free with no compromises. If you're into mangas, you need to check out Komiku. It's hands down one of the best manga readers available. Not only is it free and open source, but it also comes packed with features that set it apart. With Komiku, you can hide mangas in secret categories, bulk favorite titles, view wide covers in full, and more. It's also designed with a clean material you theme, and it lets you manually add repositories to start reading. Each manga entry includes descriptions, ratings, and other helpful details. Definitely a great option. Image Toolbox is one of my favorite image editors because it lets you do so much for free. You can reduce the quality of an image to shrink its file size, convert it into various formats, or even stitch multiple images together to create one large photo. It also has OCR capabilities to recognize and extract text from images. It lets you extract frames from GIFs and remove EXIF data from photos for better privacy. If you need to encrypt a file, this app can do that too. And the cherry on top is that it's completely free, open source, so all these features come at no cost. When you need to quickly jot something down, one swipe notes makes it super easy. With a simple swipe from the edge of your screen, a floating notepad appears, letting you write down notes in bullet points, even while you're watching a video. Once you're done, just tap anywhere outside the note to swipe it away. And the best part is that your notes are automatically saved so that you can easily come back to them later. If you're using a popular music streaming service like Spotify, SoundCloud, Pandora, AccuRadio, uh, Tidal, or a few others without paying for a premium account, you can use this app called Ad Silence to automatically mute any ads that start playing in between tracks. It works like a charm, even when you don't have the app open, and it'll save you a few headaches from having to listen to those screaming advertisements. If your battery life is draining fast, I recommend you download Comatose because it'll let you put your Android into a deep sleep as soon as you lock the screen. During deep sleep, most background processes and apps are either delayed or stopped altogether, significantly benefiting your battery life. And by default, most phones usually take a few minutes of the screen turning off and the phone remaining still just to enter deep sleep mode. And any movement can also disrupt that state. With Comatose, you have the flexibility to initiate the deep sleep immediately after locking your device, and you can customize its intensity according to your preferences. You can opt for a moderate setting, which provides additional power savings with slightly delayed notifications, or choose a more extreme setting for maximum power conservation, uh, even if it means sacrificing background processes. The best part is that Comatose doesn't require root access to run, you simply need to enable it with an ADB command when you first open the app. One thing to note is that if you uninstall Comatose later on, remember to reset your device to its default idle state, otherwise your custom profile will remain even after the app has been removed. Next we have Flut Renamer, and this app lets you quickly rename as many files as you'd like at the tap of a button. I found this to be incredibly helpful because on my OnePlus 12, all the pictures it takes are named with a confusing title with many numbers. Plus, if I were to transfer them to my computer, I'd eventually forget which phone took each shot and would need to look at the exit tags to find out. So to make my life easier, I jumped into Flut Renamer, tapped on Add File, and then I went into my DCIM folder and then Camera to find all of my pictures taken on my phone. 
From there, I can either select individual files or use the option at the top to select them all. Then I tap on select, and from there I can add several rules on how I like to rename all the files. Typically I start by identifying a common element in the file names, such as the initial letter or number. For instance, for the OnePlus 12 photos, they all start with the letter I. So I put that within the replace target text field. Then I enable metadata, tap on the I icon next to it, and then choose photo cam name so that the phone name appears at the front of the file name. I also add a space, a dash, another space, and then the initial character back in for a neat format, which in this case is the letter I. I also put a one within the third text field so that the replacement gets limited to just one letter. And I can see a preview of how the next name will look for each file. Once I hit play, all those files will get instantly renamed. Now I no longer need to rename each file or directory one by one. Very useful. Whenever I receive a phone call, I can instantly answer it by just raising the phone up to my ear. It's that easy. And the name of the app that makes this possible is literally called Auto Answer Call. So it's really straightforward. It also works with any phone app, so you can even use your default one. And it's great, thumbs up for that. For those of you who like to travel a lot, Atlas Obscura is a must because it helps you find hidden gems within cities that Google Maps would have otherwise missed. It's almost like finding unique places that only the locals in that area would know about. And the craziest part is that it works across the entire world. So no matter where you travel to, it'll give you fun, unique places to explore. It's also not a bad way to discover unique, fun places in your area that you probably didn't know about. Remote app is the ultimate way to have your phone easily control your PC or Mac, and it even works with both Android and iOS. You can move the mouse around, tap or double tap to click on things, type things out with your phone's keyboard, quickly open your favorite websites like YouTube or Netflix, and my favorite part of all is that you can quickly control whatever is playing. So if I'm listening to my music off Spotify, I can easily switch between tracks, control the volume, or even play or pause the music. The same goes if I'm watching Netflix, YouTube, Prime, HBO, or Hulu. I can even full screen the video without even ever touching my computer. And getting it to work is super simple. You just need to download the software onto your computer, which I'll link right below the like button. Now, some Android phones like the latest Samsung Galaxies or Google Pixel devices have a secure space to hide your private files. But guess what? You can get that same feature on any Android by grabbing an app called Air. With Air, you get a fully private storage space that feels like a native part of your OS. Any files you stash in Air won't appear anywhere else on your device not in your gallery or any of your apps. Plus, Air lets you hide and even eject the space when you're done, making it invisible until you need it. And of course, you can lock it down with a password or biometric unlock, so you only have access. Anyways, those are 30 fantastic apps to help you get started in 2025. Here's a playlist to view the previous top apps of the year going back all the way to 2015. If you downloaded at least one app in this entire video, just drop a quick thumbs up to show your support. Thanks for watching and not leaving me behind in 2024, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Kapow!